for agreeing to do this interview with us. We are very excited and eager to hear from you. So first of all, could you tell us briefly about your journey in mathematics and shed some light on your reason for pursuing a research career in mathematics? Okay, so, uh, so mathematics has always been my favorite subject since uh, school time. And uh, I uh, landed up in an undergraduate degree in, um, in mathematics uh, without knowing what I'm getting into. I absolutely had no idea that, you know, mathematics can be so abstract. And it's not just about, you know, solving problems using some bunch of formulas. So it was uh, uh, kind of uh, 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 an experience which I uh, did not think about when I chose an undergraduate degree in mathematics. So I I uh, I did that with with no long term goal as such. Okay, I, I should be honest. But I always enjoyed mathematics. That was always there in the background, and I also liked the abstraction a lot. So uh, that. Uh, Again, with uh, excellent teachers that I had at college level, I did my bachelor's from Lady Shram College at uh, University of Delhi, which is one of uh, the uh, decent colleges in the university. And uh, I got excellent set of teachers who at least introduced me to, uh, to good mathematics, at least understood, I understood the concepts well. So, at that point, it was just liking, okay? And then I must say that MTTS was happened in my life and that changed that liking to passion. I, when, I, when I got out of level, oh, I knew that, you know, this is what I want to do in my life. And uh, that's how I ended up in a research career. And along with that, my parents uh, were very supportive for me to... Um, you know, go to uh, the US to pursue a master's and a PhD degree. So uh, there have been a few interventions in the sense that my the cooperation of my parents, their support, and also uh, MTTS and excellent teachers that change that liking of the subject to actually, you know, something uh, that led to me being in a research profession today. Okay, ma'am, thank you for your honest response. <laughs> so my next question is, in a nutshell, could you please tell us about the area of your research? Okay, so I work in the area of ergodic theory and dynamical systems, uh, which is basically the study of long-term behavior of, um, of complex dynamical systems. And uh, past five to seven years of my research has focused on this area of symbolic dynamics, where you understand a dynamical system uh, through a coding mechanism, which actually simplifies the analysis quite a bit. So the challenge is to come up with a coding, but once you have a coding, you can understand the system fairly uh, easily. So uh, that is uh, the area that I'm working on uh, at the moment. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, you are yourself an MTTS alumni. You just mentioned that. Could you uh, tell us a, a little bit more about your about the impact of MTTS on your career? Sure. So uh, MTTS um, has played a very crucial uh, role in my life in shaping my career. Uh, because when I entered MTTS level 20 years back at RIA Mesur, I... Uh, you know, a teacher told me that, you know, there is something called MTTS and uh, uh, it is, uh, uh, it could be really helpful for you to shape up your mathematical ideas and to learn mathematics in a good way. And I, I joined. And uh, of course, one, it was about one month long camp and uh, it was quite intimidating. Uh, I remember, I still remember the first class where uh, Professor Kumresan was there. And, you know, the first impression that you get of him is, you know, you can really get intimidated by, by him. And there were students from all over the country, um, uh, from, 
from all sorts of backgrounds so uh, so it was and with not similar mathematical aptitude so so you are in a diverse group uh, at all levels and then you have you are you have these teachers who are teaching you math very differently it's not like you know there is a set syllabus and at least not known to us there is a set syllabus and uh, you go linearly you are following a book it was not like that it was very organic the way ideas flow so uh, so when you when you enter you are not confident even to write a two line proof but when you exit you can like write you know multiple pages proof that was something that really gives you the boost right you start to feel that you know yes i can do mathematics so and also uh, you know presenting giving presentations on a theorem uh, or even an example in front of your fellow uh, classmates and also professors and you know they make it so lively for you i remember that i used to maybe even today i use okay okay several times during my talk and i remember kumresan uh, professor kumresan said that you know uh, named me okay girl because i was using okay so many times so you know these things uh, these small small things that happen to you actually makes you so much comfortable in the subject and you start to like uh, you know uh, enjoy doing even the abstract concepts and all the training not just the mathematical training but also how you teach how your professors were teaching all that leaves an impact on you and i think today what i am is a uh, part of my personality or part of me as a teacher is through all those trainings that uh, i have got and today as um, as a teacher i can appreciate their efforts because you know organizing a long camp is not a joke uh, being so disciplined to so dedicated to you it's not a joke so i can appreciate all of that today and today when you know when you have seen such teachers who have dedicated uh, their uh, their life i would say or their summers which is their break time uh, in in you know uh, mkts camps it gives you uh, a motivation to to do that on your own so so and you also make lifelong friends so i still have uh, friends from mtts so uh, we are in touch with so so yeah that sense mtts has been really really crucial in my life yeah thank you ma'am so speaking of mtts we are aware the way mtts teaches us how to study math so can you give us some advice on how to self study a topic or understand a topic okay so in today's era of online material this is a very crucial point okay this is a very crucial question because you know in when i was an undergraduate undergraduate student there was no online material everything you are you are reading books you are looking at your professor's notes or you know somebody's notes so uh, first of all i would say when you are self studying having the right book is a textbook is very important right uh, fortunately uh, we have all these sets of professor kumresan's books and other professors from mtts which are uh, you know a, a reflection of what happens in mtts classes right so if you want to learn one of those topics i would say pick up one of those books which are uh, by professor kumresan or uh, one of the uh, mtts alumni so uh, 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 alumni prof uh, mtts professors and uh, that is the first part second part is when you are referring to online videos let's say which are there on youtube or anywhere uh there is a lot that is there from experts from non experts you know uh, wrong concepts correct concepts everything is there on the internet and for a beginner it's impossible to figure out what is right what is wrong what is good for me so one has to be very careful with the online material okay 
so uh, i would actually say beware of all the online material that is there so uh, that is something that uh, one has to be careful about because once you have understood a wrong concept or a concept wrongly it's very difficult to correct it okay so therefore textbooks good textbooks are very important so online can only be a supplement it cannot be the main thing for you and when you are reading a book read it linearly also read the preface because that will tell you whether you know book is appropriate for you or not it will also give you a guide to how to read the book uh, look at all the solved exercises and also solve the problems that are given in the book okay many a times you feel that okay i have seen a solution to this problem when it comes to me next time i will be able to solve it it doesn't happen that way unless you solve it on your own so you should be able to do it independently finally this is one of the training that you also get from mtps camps which is that when you are given a theorem there is a set of hypotheses there is a conclusion you see when these hypotheses break apart what happens right so that leads to the set of examples and counter examples which are very very important in learning mathematics so to every concept you should if i tell you that okay uh, this is the definition of a continuous function and i ask you for a function which is not continuous you should immediately tell me okay if i let's say in my uh, if i have bolzano weierstrass theorem it works in a certain setting what if that setting fails then what happens so these examples should be there with you all the time because then only you understand the concepts well you can internalize those concepts okay so as a beginner as somebody who is learning who is doing self learning these are very important things to do yes thank you ma'am for such insightful advices some very practical advice uh, ma'am there is a notion that in stem fields the stem fields are a prerogative of the male uh, can you share your thoughts on that mm -hmm. so uh, this is uh, the talk of the town i would say <laughs> and uh, this notion actually stems from uh, you know social cultural biological several factors right and uh, yes women are uh, uh, are uh, sort of you know it's it's a it's a prevalent notion that women are not suitable for stem and uh, the point is that um, when you look at the proportion of women in stem it's very small and therefore if i am as a woman uh, is interested in pursuing a career in stem i don't have enough role models right so one of the motivation for me to pursue a career in stem could be to become a role model right because there are not enough role models so it is actually a motivation for me to pursue stem and uh, there are some positive news in this direction that there are several schemes funding schemes grants fellowships awards specifically for women right by government Uh, dst has several uh, and uh, other government agencies and also there are uh, bodies like indian women in mathematics which organizes events from time to time all over uh, india uh, to encourage more and more women to pursue careers in uh, in mathematics especially so there are these uh, you know baby steps that are happening from various uh, sites which are uh, working towards increasing the proportion of women in stem right and it is it has to be a collective effort it can't be just you know from the policy makers or from uh, male in the system even women have to kind of step up out of their comfort zone and feel that you know i have to break this notion right i have to you may have to work harder you actually will have to work harder to be noticed many a times if you it is observed that if a woman gets a position or women gets a grant it is uh, said that it is not because of her achievements but it is because she is a female it's a woman right so your achievements are kind of undermined 
so we have to kind of you know not get disturbed or uh, feel uh, feel low by that comment but we have to take it as, as a as a challenge that uh, you know i have to if i uh, feel let down by all those comments then uh, how am i going to inspire other women who are looking up to me for uh, as a role model right so uh, so it is an issue it is an issue and uh, there are some steps that are there are some positive steps that are happening but i would like to give advice to women who are uh, who want to pursue a career in stem that uh, it is very important to choose a career path which you like right you don't want to end up in something which you don't like and if you are passionate about any stem field go for it you may have to pursue your family members you may have to bring in lot of strength from within because you will have to you know every time uh you will be presented with this notion that you know stem is for male stem is for male and you will have to break that uh you know barrier from within and for the society you may not be able to change everything but you can still you know have a very successful career in stem uh with the support of you know from within uh, your 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 drive within but also your support system right everybody has some kind of support system so i would say that if you are interested as a woman to pursue a career in stem uh, don't uh, don't be shy don't um, you know let let the opportunity pass yes. yeah thank you ma'am for a wonderful and uh, inspiring answer so uh, my last question is as a last note could you please give some advice to aspiring math students so uh, follow your passion uh, if you like math just do it uh, there are all sorts of concerns that one has that you know after math degree what next what do i do do i get a job is it only teaching is it only academics um and the answer is no if you look at uh, you know the kind of placements that are happening after a maths degree it's not just you know being a teacher or in a bank job there are uh, you know data science artificial intelligence all these online uh, things that are happening uh, there is a lot of scope after mathematics uh, but in any case uh, you know one cannot do mathematics by force right you have to have drive or passion or liking for it from within to pursue mathematics uh, my advice would be i have already pointed it out that learn from good reading material learn from good books and also identify a role model who can whose journey can inspire you and who can also be your mentor that's very important in life it could be uh, you know anybody need not be your teacher it could be a professor you met in one of the you know instructional schools like mtts or atm schools or wherever or uh, uh, i know for sure that you know if you are serious in learning mathematics if you if, and if you write an email to a professor who you have not seen but you know that can be helpful they will respond and they will help you out okay so identifying a mentor is also very important and also you know having like a group of like minded people who are who can with whom you can discuss maths freely so these are the um, things that i would say could be helpful for for an early student thank you so much ma'am for engaging with us and for your valuable advice we really appreciate you for giving your time for and agreeing to do this interview thank you Thank you so much.